In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get high quality TikTok videos. Now is a high quality TikTok video going to be the reason why you go viral for something? Probably not, but it's not going to hurt you. And once you start to gain a following, your followers are really going to appreciate having a high quality TikTok to look at. So no more chit chat, let's get into it. So step one comes with the camera. And the camera I use is the Canon EOS R. That's what this camera is right here. That's what I'm filming with over there right now. Canon EOS R, it's a very high quality camera, gives you high quality videos, and you can take pretty good pictures with it as well if you, if you wanna do that too. It gives you a lot of options when it comes to filming. Now do you need the Canon EOS R to get high quality videos? No. But in my opinion, having a DSLR or mirrorless camera to film your TikToks is gonna give you a better quality video than your phone. Now don't get me wrong, phones are definitely getting much better when it comes to the video quality, but I still don't think they reach that quality of the mirrorless or DSLR cameras. And if you have one of those types of cameras and you wanna know how you can film a TikTok using these types of cameras, I'll put a video in the corner. That's a video I made that explains all of that perfectly. <laughs> Slight humble brag there. Now when it comes to sound quality, because sound quality adds to the overall video quality itself, I use the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is a good microphone. It fits on top of the camera, so wherever the camera is, the microphone is gonna be close by. As for lighting, I have these two lights behind me. That's not gonna be my main source of light. I can easily turn those off and everything's gonna be fine. But for my main light source, I use the Aperture LSC 120D. This is a very good light. I can turn it on and off with the push of a button. I can easily raise the brightness or lower the brightness as I please as well. And if you didn't catch any of those pieces of equipment, I'll be sure to leave a link to those in the description below. Just filming your TikToks with your camera isn't gonna be enough. You have to edit them in some way and you have to use some sort of editing software to do that. Now if you film your TikToks with your phone, you can very easily put them in the TikTok and edit everything that you need to do through TikTok. You can edit them in some sort of editing apps like iMovie, like Video Leap. There's a ton of different video editors that you can use for your phone. However, if you're using a mirrorless or DSLR camera, you're gonna have that high quality footage but you obviously can't edit it with your phone. So what do you do at that point? Well, that's when you need to transfer the footage to a computer. So when I'm done filming and I'm ready to edit my footage, I'll put that footage in the Final Cut Pro. Now iMovie is a good option as well if you wanna keep things very simple with your editing, but Final Cut Pro allows me to do all the types of edits that I wanna do with the footage that I put into it. The good thing about Final Cut Pro is that you can edit your footage in that vertical format so that when you export your footage, it's already in that vertical format and it should fit your phone perfectly. Because when it comes to TikTok, having that footage in that vertical format is just gonna perform better on the platform. You can put that horizontal footage on TikTok, but it's just not gonna perform nearly as well. And when you have high quality footage in that horizontal format on your phone, it's much harder to see those tiny details that you might wanna show off in your video. So remember that, when you're editing your footage, make sure it's in that vertical format before you export it and put it on the TikTok. Now when I'm done editing all my footage in Final Cut Pro, the next thing I need to do, export that footage. And when you export that footage, it's gonna be an MOV file. Now this is gonna cause an issue because these types of files can't be transferred directly to my phone. So now at this point, I have a high quality video, but that high quality video can't get to my phone and it can't get to my phone because of the file format that it's currently in. So to be able to get that video to your phone, you need to convert that current video into an MP4 file. Now there are different programs, there are different softwares out there that can allow you to change an MOV file to an MP4 file. The software I use is called Handbrake and it's very easy, it allows me to convert any MOV file to an MP4 file so that the transfer from my computer to my phone is very easy. Now the only issue you're gonna get when changing your file formats, the video is gonna be compressed. And when you compress the video, you're gonna lose a little bit of quality. So the video that you have isn't gonna be as high of a quality as you can possibly have. However, that quality that you lose is still gonna be pretty good, especially when you look at it on a phone. So even though you're losing that little bit of quality, you're still gonna have a very high quality TikTok. So after my video is converted into an MP4 file, the next thing I need to do is get that file onto my phone. Now there are a few different ways to actually get the file from your computer to your phone. 
One way, you can text a video to yourself. It's an MP4 file, so your phone is gonna easily get a text message that way. You can use some sort of file sharing app like Dropbox, so you can have the file anywhere you go. Or if you have all Apple products, like I do, you can simply just airdrop the video to your phone. And the good thing about these methods of sharing, you're not gonna lose any quality in your videos. So the quality you have of the video on your computer is gonna transfer to your phone. So that way, when you look at the video on your phone, it should still look very high quality. And from there, once you have the video on your phone, you can go into TikTok, upload it to TikTok, add any effects, text, add anything, add the hashtags, add the captions, add anything you want to the video. And when you upload it to TikTok, you're gonna see that you still have a very high quality TikTok. And again, that's gonna be something that down the road, your followers are really going to appreciate. Because honestly, there's a huge difference between the quality that you see from a phone and a camera. I'm gonna show you a side by side, I'm gonna show you filming a TikTok on your phone and that same TikTok filmed on a camera. You're gonna see a huge difference in the quality. Photography hack number, I don't even know at this point. But the hack, shooting through objects. When you shoot through objects, you're gonna be creating much more depth in your photos. And when you create more depth in your photos, your photos are gonna become that much more intriguing. And when you have something that's more intriguing, more people are gonna look at your photos. When you have more exposure like that, your popularity is gonna go up and it's just a snowball effect of good things that happen after that. And it's all because you added just a little bit more depth to your photos. So add that little bit of depth, shoot through objects, and you're gonna be fine. Now I don't know about your eyes, but my eyes are telling me that the video filmed with the camera is much better than the video that was filmed on the phone. Now I know that this seems like a much longer process when it comes to actually uploading a TikTok video, but in the end, I believe that it's worth it to take those few extra steps to get that high quality TikTok. If you have two pieces of content that are exactly the same, but one is filmed with a phone and one is filmed with a camera, I'm almost guaranteeing that the video filmed with the camera is gonna do a little better simply because of the overall quality that you get from the camera. Okay, now if this was a video that you enjoyed, if you found it very informative, if you found it very helpful, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any other questions about TikTok, you can leave questions in the comments or you can follow this playlist because there are a few videos there that's really gonna help you when it comes to getting those TikTok videos that you wanna get. But other than that, I'm Steven from Dare to Capture. Catch you in the next one. Peace.